But w- would you like to go in and do some more hypnosis now, Chris? Yes, sir. Okay. So what I want you to do, because because you've you've been hypnotised before, you know how to do it yourself now, and I've given you several triggers to help you with that, haven't I? Yes. So you, you might want to just imagine the colour red, for instance, and close your eyes, and just allow yourself to go back into that wonderful, deep, deep relaxation that you've felt on previous occasions. And that's good, and I can see you're still tired. You, re- you really must stop stop overworking and, and get yourself to bed earlier. <laughs> and, and I don't think it's a, a time machine. No, okay. May, maybe it's trying to tell us something. We'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll work out what that is over time. And But just allow yourself to listen to my voice and bring yourself back into that wonderful place that is so good for Chris. And you may even want to... We talked the other day about those crystal balls. You might like to think about those crystal balls again and bring those wonderful memories back into the crystal balls. I don't know how many crystal balls yeah. do you have these days. Is it one or five or ten? Well, I'm sorry, five. You settle for five. That's fine. And all those wonderful memories when you're doing well and the things were going really right and you felt supremely confident and positive, you can bring them back into those crystal balls. And you remember that you keep those feelings, those good feelings that you have in those moments in the front of your mind so that you'll always have confidence throughout the day. You'll always have energy and strength and purpose throughout the day. Does that sound like a good deal, Chris? Fabulous. And just allow yourself to go even deeper now. I'm going to count from five down to one. And when I get to one, You'll feel that familiar wave of relaxation just flood through your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Or if you prefer, from the tips of your toes to the top of your head, and that's fine. And when I count from five down to one, but not until I get to one. That will be your signal, your cue, to allow it to happen. I'm going to count now. Five, four, three, two, one. And you let that relaxation flood through your body, taking you down deeper and deeper and deeper. Remembering to clear your your mouth of saliva from time to time if you want to. And you may feel your neck muscles relaxing. And it may be that you want to let your, your head come to the chest or over to your shoulder. Anywhere that's more comfortable. And you remember that at any time you want to change your position altogether completely that's perfectly okay to get you more comfortable as you listen to my voice and it may be that you're still thinking about those wonderful memories that you've had in the past that you decided to put into those crystal balls and I don't know whether you have the same memories in the crystal balls each time you do it or whether you you juggle them around a bit and that's fine and you remember that when you want to relax on your own you can use those metaphors to help you to get into that wonderfully relaxed deep deep state as you listen to my voice and any sounds in the background just remind you to come back to my voice and come back to this moment as you take yourself down even deeper now deep 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 so deep down deeper than you've ever been before and you know in your mind that you deserve a reward. You deserve to encourage yourself and say, well done, Chris, because you've brought your blood pressure down. And that's wonderful. And that's a trend that's going to continue until you have the right blood pressure for Tim that is always going to be optimal from this day forwards. Because, Tim, you've shown yourself that it is possible through your faith to do that because the human body is wonderful. You have a marvellous body, a marvellous mind. You've always been good at hypnotherapy. I knew that even before I met you. I'd been forewarned. So well done for that too. As you listen to my voice, allowing yourself to become more and more relaxed, you can scan your body for any area that might not be as relaxed as it could be, and you just let it go. And that's fabulous. And like we've done on earlier days, I want you to just bring your attention now to your hands and I I don't know yet whether this is going to be your right your left hand but I'm talking not now to Chris I'm talking directly to your unconscious mind 
and I'm talking to your unconscious mind I'm suggesting that your unconscious mind who's looked after you so well all these years wants for you to be well Chris wants for you to have a wonderful life wants for you to be comfortable all the times and wants for you to allow any discomfort that you've been having in the past to just fade into the distance until it's just a faint awareness which you will always keep just so that you know you're safe and so that you know those times when you need to get medical assistance from the doctor from the hospital perhaps the dentist in case there's something happening in Chris that needs immediate attention but the discomfort that goes with it it is just not going to be there anymore because it's not appropriate now for Chris to be in pain anymore and that's why we don't use that word we think in terms of comfort level and you're doing really well now Chris I can see you're, you're relaxing more now and so all those feelings all those unwanted feelings that you had before we met just seem to drift further and further into the distance so that you just monitor your body for anything that needs attention as I said with the hospital perhaps a doctor dentist or wherever it may be who knows maybe even a chiropodist but Chris will always be wise to what's going on in his body and will always deal with it in the appropriate way even although those feelings that were unnecessary are drifting further away now going away even further and coming back to your hands Chris we're going to lock that suggestion in with your unconscious mind because I know your unconscious mind agrees that this is good for Chris and so with your unconscious mind working I want you to unconsciously pick I don't know whether the left or the right arm but notice the lightness that's in the appropriate arm it might be the left arm it might be the left arm that just feels that lightness that complete lightness and you allow it to just begin to rise at its own speed that's right for Chris coming towards your face and perhaps the palm will turn as it as it does so and just allow that lightness to happen it's as if you're floating in the swimming pool or perhaps floating around in a weightless environment out in space somewhere and you're aware of that lightness that's fabulous and I see your unconscious mind making a decision there and when that hand touches your face that shows the agreement that we have with your unconscious mind to continue to allow Chris to improve his blood pressure and normalize it and to continue to allow Chris to be in comfort as his predominant force that's fabulous and whenever you're ready you can allow that to drift back down to somewhere comfortable and we're still going to carry on working on that that voice of yours because I know that troubles you and your unconscious mind has got the power to make incredible changes in that area and that will improve from this day forwards and get better and better you'll be more confident in, in your, your ability with your voice you'll have more awareness that your unconscious mind is working in that area to improve and heal your throat in every way that is necessary to restore whatever it is Chris that you feel you may have lost and that's going to be wonderful and that's going to become more and more manifest and I'm sure that in the future you'll be telling me Chris you'll be telling me Chris that it has been working and you might tell me perhaps you never believed it would have worked but you will tell me that it did work I'm absolutely confident of that and now Chris I'm going to ask you to just open your eyes and look at the screen for a moment you'll still be in trance and look at the screen and that's very good and I want you to be sure as you look at the screen that everything I've suggested is going to be manifested by your fabulous mind and that's going to be good and now Chris I can see that you want to just close your eyes down and go back into a deep deep trance that's very good and go down even deeper than you were before even deeper and allow as you go down even deeper all of the only doubts that you may have had about Chris in the past any misgivings any small annoyances any traumas as you go down even deeper 
you can imagine in your mind that it's like an onion on the outside there's everything that we don't want and on the inside is Chris the real Chris the positive Chris and we're just going to peel away the layers on the outside only as deep as we need to go to get to the real positive Chris but just imagine peeling those layers off and when we peel them off you can imagine yourself throwing all that stuff that we don't need in, into the bin into the recycling the compost heap wherever it is that you want to put it and you know that you're accessing the power that is within you Chris the power for restoration the power for development the power for posit positivity positiveness so that Chris can be the best Chris that he can possibly be from this day forwards and although I say from this day forwards I mean from the previous days we've spoken to because I always say that don't I from this day forwards and you'll improve every day in every way that blood pressure will continue to come down until it reaches an optimal level and it will maintain itself at the right level that will be normal healthy and wholesome for Chris from day to day depending on what Chris is doing and that will be wonderful and Chris will have such a wonderful life because of it and when you go on your holiday which I know is coming up soon Chris you're going to be on the aircraft I know it's not too long of a flight but it can still be stressful but when you're on the aircraft you're going to take everything in your stride everything's going to be wonderful you're going to be relaxed about everything and calm and confident and you're going to enjoy the ride enjoy the flight as much as you possibly can so that when you're out there you're just going to have a really really good time there's going to be none of the normal discomfort you're going to be supremely confident comfortable your blood pressure is going to be normal and acceptable you're going to find that you're going to enjoy your holiday eating wisely making good choices for Chris do you understand Chris mm. that's very good do you agree <sighs> fabulous that's excellent now now Chris what I want you to do is to um, just open your eyes now and come back to full awakening awareness that's fabulous and feeling good feeling wonderful mm -hmm. are you looking forward to your holiday Yes. Mm. When is it you go? Saturday. Saturday, so day after yes. tomorrow. Yes. That's fabulous and wonderful. And um, did, did your doctor say anything? Did you tell her you're having hypnosis? Uh, yes, I said the doctor said that the result is 50-50. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, and, and has she, he or she been aware of hypnosis before? Yes. Mm -hmm. And do, do they do they take it well? Because I know some doctors don't, don't approve of hypnosis. I don't know why. No, it's just blue. No, Sorry. good. Mm -hmm. Doesn't give me tablets unless she has to. Yes, well, that's good. Fabulous. So, um, Chris, I'm going to stop this recording now because I, I think you've been fabulous, and I really do thank you. And I know that uh, w with your continued permission, if I have it, that they will all have tremendous value from what you've done by allowing me to record this video so I really really do thank you in, in front of everybody who's listening for doing that it's been fabulous